Howdy, neighbor. I wasn't sure if I'd actually catch you. I just wanted to come by and welcome you to town. I've also brought you a little something to eat. Some fiddlehead risotto and mango sticky rice with a fresh-picked blackberry cobbler for dessert. Oh, and some fresh-made lemonade and ginger ale. I figured the last thing you'll be wanting to do is worry about scrounging something up to eat while you're getting unpacked and settled. Well, I was just gonna leave it by the door with a little note, but I'm far happier to actually get to meet you in person. Please accept this gift as my way of saying welcome. Oh, no, no, it, it's no trouble at all. I was quite excited to get this little basket together for you. And don't worry none about the dishes or the basket. And they're yours to keep if you need them. I heard you came from the city and... If you're anything like I was, you may need a few extra dishes. Yes, uh, I lived in Zuzu City. Most of my life, actually, until I moved here some years ago. Best decision I ever made. And I think you'll find that to be true for yourself as well. I hope the move hasn't been too hard on you. I know it can be an exhausting affair. Well, good, good. Is there anything I could help you with today that has been maybe giving you a bit of a ruckus? Alright, well, the offer will stand. If you need an extra pair of hands, don't hesitate to let me know. I've wrote my house number on the card in the basket, so don't be shy to call over any time for anything. I live just a little bit south by the forest lake, so I'm not that far and you're not that out of the way for me. Well, I think you'll find most folks will be eager to help out where they can. And that's definitely one of the charms of small town life. This small town, anyway. The valley is filled with good people. Some can be quite the character, but they all mean well. I know it can be a bit awkward getting to know everyone for the first time. And some folks may be a little slower to warm, but don't hold it against them. They're all good people. We're really lucky to have such a strong community here. Things have been a little stressful lately, but we're not going to let that deter us. Oh, uh, well, I don't want to bug you with any of the town issues before you've really gotten to know it. And I certainly don't want to come off as a gossip. It's nothing you really need to worry about. Well, alright, but... Don't let it tarnish your impression of our beautiful valley. But a lot of folks around here have fallen on a bit of hard times. It's nothing to worry your head over. We're all really resilient people. But the valley has seen better days. Which can sound surprising considering how lovely it is, truly, but, well, you're from the city, so you know how Jojo Corp tries to tie their hands up into every little thing, including our valley. They've set up a mart on the opposite end of the valley, and it's caused a lot of strife since they seem to bring bad luck and misfortune everywhere they go. But, like I said, it's really nothing you need to concern yourself with right now. And I don't mean to lay any bit of stress on you at such a pivotal time. 
Moving on from it, is there anything that you're curious about in the area? I'm sure you've already met with Lewis, and he was pretty detailed, but if you've got any other questions or concerns that maybe you don't want to ask the mayor, feel free to run them by me. Alright, well, I know you're busy, and I don't want to take up too much of your time. I'm sure I've hogged your attention enough for the day. You sure you don't need help with anything? Alright then. I'll leave and let you get settled. And like I said, if you need anything, my number's in the basket. Don't hesitate to call on me if you need me. And just so you know, Everyone is really excited that you're here. We don't get too many new neighbors, and this place has been sitting empty for a long time. We're all thrilled to see some life in this land again. Alright, well, take care, neighbor.